Hello everybody, Prince is very here. We're back at Hollywood Studios because it's time for one of our favorite restaurants here. Some little drive-in place we call it the sci-fi. I'm really here for the movies, not for the food. I'm here for the dip. Well, let's go in and uh, get our dip. Not the Roger Rabbit dip though, good dip. Sure to subscribe and sci-fi. You're the girl. Castle Rock Pinot Noir is 100% vegan. They serve it a little chilled, and it's not bad. It's nice and light. I really like that. I'm gonna give it a um, three out of five grapes. It's pretty decent. Disney's drive-in. I think I've said this before several times. 100% still on that train. Disney themed drive in. You have the land. You have the guests as a captive audience for the most part. You already do basically drive ins and sit downs in every resort. Drive in movie theater. Maybe like two of the screens, maybe four. Probably two. Do two. It would sell. And then you could have bottles of wine in your car. So yeah, it's not making a lot of sense now because I'm talking out loud. Castle Rock. Very fruity one. A little like stick on the back end. Nice flavor. Not too harsh. Let's look up. It's a nice Pinot Noir without being like too heavy. It doesn't sit that heavy in your mouth or in your stomach. So I give that a three and a half out of five plus. It makes me sad. We have this spicy marg that Bear got. Oh. Oh, Lord. It is spicy. If we, this reminds me of the jalapeno marg that we usually get at Backwater Bar at Universal, minus Bear asking for extra muddled jalapenos. If they, if he had asked for extra muddled jalapenos, he would have been taken right back to his favorite drink. Three out of five jalapenos. With a spicy Martian margarita. Makes me wonder how spicy Martians actually are. And we're not talking about the spice. We will look at the salt. Give it a sip. Alright, cool. You guys check out the rest of the thing. I'll be right back. Ooh. Give me a tingle. Oh, it's actually the bigger. It's not a Peter tingle. But a tingle. Oh, oh. Oh, it's one of those slur burn heats in the back. It's like a three and a half out of ten on the spice scale. A comfortable heat for a beverage. I could stand for a little bit spicier, but this is one of those margaritas that is true to its name. I'm doing it four and a half out of five claws just for the effort. We have this beautiful new spinach artichoke dip. And the um, chips are like the same house made chips you can get pretty much all the resorts. I'm just get a nice little spoonful here. Because just a spoonful of dip helps the medicine go down in the most delightful way. Why not treat yourself at the refreshment center now? Oh my gosh. It's hot. It's tangy. You got a lot of avocado or um, artichoke in it. That is really good. I've never had a vegan spinach artichoke dip before, but now I feel like I want to make them at home because. This is inspiring and really delicious. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I don't think it's better than the island cakes that we used to have here before. I kind of wish they didn't replace those. I wish they had added these to the menu, but it's still really good and I'm gonna eat it. So from a crab cake to an artichoke dip, yeah. But you know, a plant-based artichoke dip, that, that, that gives me high hopes. It's got the little crumbles on top. It's nice and thick. Definitely fit for chip, fit for scooping. So you can do it the bare way. You don't have to use a spoon. Wow. Mm -hmm. I have the thickness of a really creamy broccoli and cheddar soup. And that's avocado. I'm sorry, I'm artichoke. Uh, somehow they achieved the perfect balance of artichoke and spinach. It's not too spinachy. It's not too artichoke. It's a nice balance to 
like the texture of the crumbs on top give it. This is a worthy replacement. I don't think it's as good as the crab cakes, but it's still highly good. Look at that. Four out of five times. So we have one of their new appetizers, these black so peppercorn wings and a barbecue sauce. Uh, I think it's really hard to get a full view of how absolutely covered these wings are in sauce because it's so dark in here, but like, there's literally, you, you lose the definition of the wing because there's that much sauce on it. Like this thing is almost basically like a barbecue sauce lollipop in the most delicious of forms. Let's see if it actually tastes as decadently barbecue as it looks. Mm. I will admit, chicken's nice and juicy. The barbecue sauce is good, but very heavy, thick. It came right off the bone without too much work. But, uh, I, it's very flavorful. You like your wings saucy. It's definitely the way to go. Not my favorite wings on property. I think especially from sci-fi they can do a little bit better, but they're still really good. Three and a half out of five plus. Messy, of course. It's been a while since we've had this burger. I'm gonna cut it in half. Usually has a beautiful like plant-based cheese on it. That thick impossible it looks so good. It looks so so good. It's sliding out. Mm. As good as I remember. That pesto is just like fire. This is probably one of the best Impossible Burgers on Disney property. I'm gonna give it a five out of five. I think it's worth many trips to sci-fi. So this Impossible Burger lives, this nice thick patty with a boatload of the mushroom on top. You got the juicy tomato, nice soft bun. Not soggy bun, it's a difference. You like soft and not soggy. Mmm. I've always said it and I'll keep saying it. Having an impossible burger beyond burger nowadays is basically it's boring. It's the fixings. It's what you add to the burger that makes it a burger. The seasonings, the sauces, the extras. This is a wholly unique impossible burger that I think would be hard pressed to find one this good anywhere else on property. It goes the extra mile towards making it unique. I mean, it's a five out of five. It's on my bare necessities list. Plant based vegan or otherwise, you can't go wrong eating this burger. Then we have the steak fries. Nice, thick cut fry. Beautiful, not salted. Our waiter gave us mustard to go with it, so I'm here for it. Three out of five for the um, fries. Super good meal. Then we have the classic steak frites. The cheaters of the fry test world. But they get judged harshly if they're bad. Okay. Nice crisp outside. Nice warm inside. It's got that fresh, correct mush to crunch ratio. That is a solid fry. Three and a half out of five plus. We have the chicken salad sandwich on a nice multi grain croissant. Oh, they did slice this in half for me, so I don't do any cutting. Uh, you got bacon, some nice thick chicken salad, tomatoes, and all the fixes of the nice thick bed of lettuce on there. Hopefully it's not too mayo-y. I hate it when chicken salad gets like super mayo-y, but uh, I'm excited for this. I was not expecting croissant, so this is a happy surprise. Mmm. I beg it's hard. Like it's not like it's bacon that's like almost like beef jerky. It's been a trend lately, I feel. It's nice and crisp, not a bad thing. It adds a nice texture to the sandwich. 
I just wasn't expecting such a hard crunch out of into it. Chicken salad is very balanced, not too mayo-y, not making the uh, croissant all soggy. Yeah, all right. all right. It's got a nice flavor. Me, I'm all about light food when we walk around the parks. Uh, they do have their new pork from pork burger, which isn't a new thing. It was a special before, but now it's permanent. Uh, a little bit heavy to be walking around with on a temperate summer floor today. But this seems the better choice. Um, given how it is, I'm going to give it a solid 4 out of 5 claws. Definitely worth getting, and it's very filling. Another fun time at Sci-Fi. I had an amazing time. I don't think we've ever had a bad time at Sci-Fi. It is no, one of the ever. best restaurants at Hollywood Studios. It's definitely one of those ones that if you have the opportunity to snag a reservation, definitely don't pass it up. And you don't will skip not out it. on that spinach dip. That was amazing. I think it was my favorite thing. I liked it better than the Impossible Burger, which is also really good. If you want alts. But if you guys think there's a better food at restaurant here at Hollywood Studios, you're wrong. But you're welcome to tell me that I'm wrong in the comments below. If there's anything else you'd like to see us go, of course, it's also going to be a place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And um, like and comment and do all of those things that like make us keep coming out here in this crazy heat. Like, what is wrong with us? This is all Bear's fault. All Bear's fault. Here's the girl.